Simon Delaney. Hi! It is an absolute pleasure to meet you. You're such a liar. I, I'm not lying to you. Um, I'm Rebecca from Dublin Science. I know friend. that. I know that. I was told about you this morning. Stop it. Told yeah. you about me. It doesn't matter. I can't reveal my sources. I'm very interested. But it was all good. Good. And they said you bring loads of chocolate. Yeah, I'll bring some. Yeah. I'll give it to you in a few minutes. So, Simon, I went to see The Conjuring 2 last night. Yeah. I still feel a bit freaked out. It scared the bejays the same week. Did it really? I did. I haven't seen it yet, you see. What? No, I'm going to the premiere tonight. It's the first time I see it. What was it like starring in a horror movie? I've never seen a horror movie in my life. Right. It's not my thing. Um, but when I got cast in the show, in the movie, my wife said to me, look, you're going to have to watch the first one. Yeah. Just to get an idea of how James works and the director works and all that. And I said, okay, I'll be the big brave boy. And I watched it and I got it mm, six minutes in. No, 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 no. Oh, thank you. Now, even reading the script, this was like, no, no, mommy, mommy, mommy. No, oh, because it's all priests and crucifixes. And yeah, there's some serious, <coughs> there, there's, some, uh, there's a lot of jumpy moments that I was jumping out of my seat and the yeah, same like, oh, was flying. Yeah, I've, I've read a couple of the reviews now from the US and they said there's some proper jump out scares. Yes. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to feel watching tonight because I never, you know, I've never, honestly, I've never watched a horror movie back you know, right through. And this is a particularly harrowing story, you know, and the fact that it's based on true events too. Yes. And we met the people involved. We met the Hodgson girls. They came to the set. Yes. And it's, what, 35, 40 years later and they're still visibly traumatised by what happened in the house over those couple of months. Did anything spooky happen while you were on set? Um. A couple of the crew, including Vera Farmiga, were, would wake at the same time every night. Yeah. Over the space of three or four nights, they'd all come into work the next day and go, I couldn't sleep, woke up at 2.55. Yeah. So did I, so did I, so did I. I know Vera's uh, laptop screen cracked at one point. Oh my God. I know. Uh, I'm afraid of myself talking about it. Yeah. And the set was blessed by a priest on the first day of shooting. He came along and blessed the entire set. He did what <coughs> priests do when they're called to possession scenes or poltergeist scenes. They try to cast the devil out. Yeah. And he came along and he blessed every room in the house and the set. Blessed all the cast. Blessed the crew. So at that point, then you think this ain't a romantic comedy. This is this is different. And this is you know just gonna be the fat funny bloke in this one. No. This is different. So the first movie is the second highest grossing horror movie of all time. <clears throat> yeah. Did you feel any pressure going into the sequel? Well, I mean, look, you, you don't, you know, the actors don't. The, the pressure's on the director, the writers, you know, the, the studio, you yeah. know, because Warner Brothers are putting their full weight behind it. You know, obviously the first one took over $300 million. It was a huge success critically, which is yeah. more important. And again, having said, I've been reading reviews coming over from the States over the last week because it's been previewing over there. And the reviews are brilliant, you know, Empire, yeah. Variety, and the fans as well, you know, proper horror fans who were huge fans of the first were saying, this is a scare fest. So I read <clears> in an interview that you said that working on this movie was really funny. That's the bizarre thing. And I remember having the, con I had, we had this conversation on set one day with James, and they were talking, because I didn't know what the set was going to be like, because I've never been on a horror set. Yeah. I've always ever been in comedy or drama sets, whatever. It was the funniest set I've ever been on in my life because, and he and James was saying that he'd read an interview recently with John Carpenter, who's the master of, of horror, and he said that he thought horror sets were funnier than comedy sets, and he's actually right because in a comedy set, there's a vibe on this because there's pressure. Yeah. Be funny, now be funnier, and they do it again. Be funny again. Whereas in the horror set, and considering what we were seeing on the set, what was happening around us with furniture. And Things and noises. You're wet, that sounds bad. And myself, <laughs> we pretty much spent the entire movie trying to pick a name for my new child who arrived last week. And Patrick Wilson had some interesting choices. Yes. He wanted to call him Shifty. Shifty. Or Ichabod. What does Ichabod mean? I have no idea. I think it's a cream. <laughs> I don't Ichabod. Know. Yeah, he sent me an email. <laughs> Patrick sent me an email last week on the day the baby was due saying, has Shifty Ichabod Hussein Delaney arrived yet? <laughs> that's, listen, yeah. that's, a, that's an interesting name. But, that, but that's basically what we spent nine weeks doing. A couple of stupid names for a baby, hadn't even been born. But it was great crack. They're lovely. Patrick and Vera were lovely. And James Wan is just that. The, the master. Oh, watching that man work. Yeah. It's like a, a, a pocket dynamo. 
the way he worked the camera, the way he set the scenes up, the way the house was designed. Yeah. The hallways are a little bit longer than the real house, so you can get those long tracking shots. The stuff they were doing, I can't wait to see it. You're going to be freaked out afterwards, at your, as well as yourself. There's one scene that you are trying to knock down a door. Mm. How long did that take to film? Were you wrecked afterwards? I'd be wrecked. Two days. Two days. And that was interior. That was we shot down on the sound stage when it's raining. Yeah. yeah. Consistently. That was tough because, uh, you know, obviously it's very physical. It's bad because I, I think I got through about four doors. Yeah. The special effects guy says, okay, the first one's fine. He won't get through this. Well, because James came down and he said, look, you got to just go for it, man. You know, just go for it. You can't, you can't pretend to knock a door down. Go for it. So I went for it. Put the first door through in about 30 seconds. Another door, please. So in comes another door. Well, I got through that one. So about four doors later, I was knackered. Yeah, I was watching you go, go on, Simon. <laughs> I was exhausted at the end of it because bear in mind as well I was wearing that really fetching red check donkey jacket from the 70s which was made of wool yeah. which had about four weeks worth of rain in it so now I don't need any more weight Stop. I couldn't get my arms above me, my shoulders with the axe I was shattered yeah say so because all the crew were sort of sitting there going I think he's going to have a stroke Stop. is so he alright I was worked, acting I was fine you worked with um, <coughs> on the movie there's special effects and there's props what do you prefer working with <coughs> Um, well, in this one, we didn't really have to deal with the special effects. The stuff that we did was, was more props related. And again, as a director and as a you know as a theatre director, and I'm always fascinated to see how they do that. You know, there's a scene in, in, in early on in the movie where some furniture moves, and I'm watching it move. I thought, how are they going to do that? How do they do it? I can't tell you. Oh, please. I'd love to know. No, there's a girl out there. One of those <laughs> We're like, yeah. No, they did it, and um, watch them doing it, setting that up for three hours, setting it up for three hours for a two, three second shot. Yeah. And just watching them do it, just fascinating to watch. Moving walls, fire grates, flying across rooms. Brilliant. Yeah, the little fire grates. Yeah, it was like my gaff on a Saturday. Yeah, Saturday nights. Nice. Afternoon, I was going to say. <laughs> We're not that hardcore. <laughs> I have seven. to I have to ask you about <clears throat> Good Wife. It's one of my favourite shows. Uh, what was it like working on the Good Wife? It was tough. Horrible people. Um, it was a, it was a nightmare. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> like, they were the uh, nicest people. Juliana Margiela is such a sweetheart. Josh Charles plays well. Christine Baranski, Alan Cummings. I mean, just legends. Yeah. Christine Baranski. I was a huge fan of hers for the last 25 years. She's a Broadway legend. Which of course Patrick Wilson is too. Yes. Because that boy can sing. Oh, how can that boy sing? But uh, Good Wife was great. And Eddie Izzard. I yeah. Mean, come on. And he's exactly what you'd expect him to be. Mad as a brush. All star cast. Who's your favourite character in Good Wife? Uh, that's a good question. Probably Will. Yeah. I like Alan Cummings though. Do you like Alan Cummings? I do. I love him. He's in the Spice Girl movie. <clears throat> well, that's all right. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I remember watching The Good Wife be like, I love him. But he was in a... He was I was in, like, he's in. Oh, you forgive him that though. Yeah. So the Euros yeah. are obviously kicking off. Tomorrow. How far do you think Ireland are going to go? I don't know. I, everybody's optimistic and it's just that wave of optimism. I don't know. I don't... I think we get out of the group merely because of the fact three out of the four teams get through. Yeah. Um, Italy are in our group. They're dark horses. Sweden, I think, they're a one-man team with Ibrahimovic. If he turns up, they could do us. I think if we get through the first game next Monday against Sweden with a draw, we'll get out of the group. If we lose on Monday, we could be in trouble. I hope we get to the last 16, even to the quarterfinals. If we get a favourable draw, who knows? At the end of the day, who cares? Because we're going to have a party for three weeks at the back of it. You're damn right, Simon. Congratulations on an absolutely terrifying movie. <laughs> Please let me know how you get on tonight after you see it. I will. I'll, I'll tweet you. You do? Yeah, I'll tweet you as soon as I leave. Yeah, give me my Twitter handle. <laughs> <laughs> Simon, thank you. Pleasure. Thanks, Rebecca.